Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to a very festive few days. Down. <laughs> we have new home updates, we are decorating for Christmas, getting our tree and go to our first Christmas party of the season. Let's spend the weekend together. Good morning. The time has finally come. This weekend we are decorating for Christmas. We are getting our tree. We are doing the whole thing and I am so excited. It is Friday for me today. I'm actually not supposed to be working today but if you saw my last nine to five vlog where I was talking about how whew, intense things have got at work lately. I am now doing a little bit of work. So I've been working this morning. I have got meetings from 3.30 this afternoon, but I am gonna try and take some of my day off off. So I'm actually heading out right now with my mum. We're going to this place called Lavenders. If you happen to know or we'll live around Southwest London area. And Lavenders is basically like, I don't know if I'm gonna describe it wrong, but my understanding is that it's like a florist, like wholesalers place. So like, it's not really somewhere that's open for the public. It's not open Saturdays and Sundays. And they kind of sell like bulk stock of stuff. But I've been with my mum the last two years and they just have the best Christmassy things. Like the place is incredible at Christmas time because for a florist, they've got a lot of like sparkly florals and sparkly foliage and all that kind of stuff. And I'm so excited to get some bits. It's also where we go every year to get all of the, I wanna say ingredients, but that's not the right word. Like all of the components for our wreaths because me, my mum and my sister make our Christmas wreaths for our front doors together every single year. So we're gonna get all of our bits for that. And then tomorrow we're going to our first like Christmassy party. So I'm so excited to get all like dolled up and it's like full black tie and just get all my sparkly jewelry out. And then finally on Sunday, we are getting our tree. So I am so excited for the most festive couple of days. I am also halfway through munching through my very first mince pie, which is so good. This is actually the Sainsbury's one and it's really good. It's very like brandy-y, but I'm loving it. Anyway, so I'm going to get my cozy Uggs on because it's a very cozy day today. The sunshine today is actually glorious. It's a beautiful day, but a very cold one. So yeah, my Uggs are going on. I'm wearing my like full length, big, long cardigan today, which I love because it just makes me feel like I'm basically going out in a dressing gown. I also have got a new like cardi and top set, which I will definitely link for you. It's from Abercrombie. It's made from Merino wool. It's not itchy at all. And it's really cute and it comes as a set. And I just, I love it. I'm actually wearing it for the first time today, but I'm kind of obsessed. So I'll link it so you can get it too. But yes, let's go and have the loveliest few days together. I'm so excited. <laughs> down, no, <laughs> down.
I'm back home. I had such a nice time with my mum. I got to see Bali briefly when I popped home. I like swung by home and picked mum up so we could all go in the same car together. And I picked up stuff from home as like extra options for what to wear for tomorrow night. It's like a full like black tie situation. I have nothing planned. So I'm just gonna have to wear something that like I've already got. And I raided my sister's wardrobe when I was back home. She has really good stuff that she leaves my parents' house and then doesn't take any of it to where she lives, which is pretty great. So it meant I got to go and raid that. But let me show you all of the goodies that we got from Lavenders because I feel like I did pretty well. I'm Again, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying my best to like have a little bit of balance when I do these shops and not go completely mental. But I also feel like I'm already buying quite a lot this season. So who knows? <laughs> but let me show you what I got. So first of all, on the candles front, I got three chunky candles, which are all a slightly different size that I love. I got some more ribbon. I think like thin ribbon like this. This is like a really lovely like deep red velvet color and i think really thin ribbon like this just looks so lovely on like craft paper to go onto the christmas tree i just i love the look and then i got this which i think is so cute oh, it's got like all the fake snow on from just being in that shop it's like a little christmas tree garland but all the trees are made of like knitted wool it feels like and i just think it feels very i don't know like vintage wholesome i just think it's gorgeous and all the trees are a slightly different green and it's just a little garland that i'm gonna hang somewhere so i couldn't walk away from that and then i also got this is so fun it feels like christmas i get to unwrap it Da -da. It is a green vase, which I just thought was so pretty and it's such a gorgeous colour. I just think that green glass is always so stunning. So yeah, also got that to put some of the twigs in because goodness me, I buy a lot. Oh yeah, also for the candles, I also just bought like a multi-pack of like the big ones, the, sorry, the tall thin ones so they can go in my various candlesticks that I've got around the place. I got one little Christmas bauble. They had like a whole kind of like candy cane lane type section of just like lots of sweets and stuff. And I just thought that this particular decoration was really pretty. I literally just got the one, but to go on the tree, I thought that was gorgeous. Oh, don't roll away. And then I also got these things, which I love. And this is always one of like the staples that I love to get from there because I just think they're such good value. They're basically just like wooden stumps. So I've got one wooden stump that's like completely plain like this. And I basically will like lay a different Christmassy bits on top of it yet. I might put like some little houses and maybe that tree that I showed you in my decoration hall on there. Like I'll make a little kind of village scape on one of these that goes on the shelves, which I love. And then this is the first time I've seen these ones. This year they had ones that were hollow, which I think is so genius because in the past, I, as you will have seen if you saw like last year's Christmassy vlogs, I like to have these kind of big candles on them, but then they melt sometimes if I leave them out for like a really long time, they then start melting over the table. Whereas this is obviously gonna be like a little bowl. So I'm planning to have, it's gonna be a bit heavy for me, but I'm planning to basically have the three reminding me of my, of my waitressing days, but I'm basically gonna have like the three in there like that, which I just think will look so cute. And then I got a little one as well, just for some like other little candles. I'll see what I use it for. And then the final things that I got are basically a whole load of sticks of different varieties. So I got two different types of holly. I got this very, very sparkly silvery holly which I just think I'll probably pop it in a vase that's got some other bits in it. And I'll add such a touch of Christmassy sparkle. And then I got this one, which is also a sparkly holly, but this one is a bit, it's a slightly different type of leafed holly. And it's more kind of a snowy effect than like a full on glitter effect, which I also thought was really pretty. And it's a much like longer stem as well to go in some of my longer stuff. And then I got this. Also glittery, honestly, this whole house is going to be covered in glitter for literally the next six months. But I got this frosted berry, what is it, like a winter berry, like frosted winter berry twig, which I think is really stunning. Again, I'm going to stick that in one of my long vases. And then the final bit that I got 
are these acorn twigs, which again are also frosted. And I got three bunches of these. I need to take all the bits of plastic off, but I got three bunches of these. So these will like all go together in a group. So yeah, that is my loot and I'm so happy with it. I definitely got more than I thought I was gonna get. I was not that measured, but I love everything I've got. And the whole point is they last like years and years and years, right? So um, yeah, I'm blaming the new house on buying a lot of stuff, but I love it all. I'm so excited to get decorating. Right, time for a glass of wine to have a chilled evening. And then at some point I need to start trying on all of my options for what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. Cause I haven't been to like a full on like ball gown, black tie event in, I don't even know how long, a really long time. I literally can't think of the last time. So I'm very excited to get all dressed up. But I need to work out what I'm wearing. So that is the next task, probably for tomorrow morning. Gonna let the sun shine in today I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in today And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of Talking, the wind blowing in the trees. Perfect. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. Oh, and the darkness starts to fade. Feels like things are gonna go my way. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold Listen to the ocean Let it's unsaid words be spoken let my mind be carried by the waves Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly Oh, and the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day Hello guys, we are fresh out of the shower and we're about to start getting ready for the first Christmas party of the season. Cameron has very kindly just brought me an espresso martini. He's so good at these. Oh, so good. I literally mentioned a couple of vlogs ago that I only have coffee if I'm going to the gym. Well, the exception is I also have coffee when I know I'm going on a night out, like right at the beginning. It's currently now like four o'clock, I think. Um, but it's gonna be a long night. We need to be there at six. So to be honest, I'm pushing it way too late. I have to like fully get ready in like black tie, the whole thing. Anyway, let me show you what I'm gonna wear and then we'll get ready. Okay, I've grabbed the outfit. So I'm actually gonna wear, you'll have to wait till you see it on, but just as like a sneak peek, this is what I'm gonna wear. It's actually my prom dress, if you can believe it. My prom dress from over a decade ago is still going strong and I absolutely love it. Anyway, it's this like gorgeous pink material and it's kind of like a wrap style dress. I'll show you as soon as it's on. And then shoes. I'm gonna wear these like sparkly, a blocky heel because it's like the whole night is gonna be on our feet. It's got like a couple of marks on them, but broadly speaking, these shoes are like doing pretty well. So I'm gonna do sparkly shoes, sparkly white shoes. I've just got my nails done in like a, also like a creamy, sparkly white to go with that. And then for my bag, I'm gonna take this as a little bag, which is like a little phase eight bag, which I love. Anyway, we're really gonna start getting ready. I've got like these massive bleach stains on my towel where I stuck it in with some bleach and now it's completely stained. That is real life for you. But okay, first priority is hair because I need to get like my rollers in so they can sit for a little bit. But we've only got an hour to like fully get ready and get out the door, which is 
not long, but anyway, let's do this. ready I don't have any silver jewelry which I'm now seeing is like a massive gap in my wardrobe I desperately need some silver jewelry and I don't know if I've tied this like the right way it's one of those dresses that you can tie like in multiple ways I quite like it when it's completely backless but like having a cross over the back just feels a bit more secure I'm also really regretting the fact that I didn't fake tan but I just never fake tan this is the current like real girl situation <laughs> I've got just a pile of mess everywhere. But other than that, I think we are ready to go. I just need to pop my shoes on, grab my little bag, and I think we are pretty much ready for the party. Okay, so welcome to the BNL Casino. Uh, we're really excited to have you for those returning guests. Thank you so much for uh, bringing your money and uh, once again losing. Please, <laughs> please make sure the new guests are felt welcome and show them a loose sense of morality. As always, there's a couple of hidden things. So one has already been discovered, it was on the invite, and there was a payout of $200. Uh, where's Jess? I think she found it. Congratulations. There's, we're going to have a, uh, a box that's going to go around at some stage, which is a voting box. It's going to be for the five best dress. The five best dress will be announced later on. Where you bet? Remember where you bet. finally starting to feel slightly more alive again. It is about 11 o'clock. Last night was so fun. We had such a good time. 
Um, yeah, there was full on gambling and games and the whole thing was so good. It was like Vegas night themed. So yeah, it was so fun. But definitely woke up this morning with a bit of a headache. So we've just come out to Gales. I've got myself a chai. This is also such a good one. And one of our favorite things from Gales is this like egg souffle bun thing they do, which is just incredible. It's like got, it kind of tastes like everything but the bagel seasoning on top, like kind of that like garlicky seasoning. And the egg is like this soft, cheesy deliciousness anyway. So I'm about to devour my one of these. Cameron's already tucking into his. And then as soon as we feel a bit more alive after we finish this, we're gonna go get our Christmas tree, which is so exciting. Hopefully that will also keep us going throughout the day because yeah, hungovers are not easy, but decorating our Christmas tree and getting the house all sorted and starting to feel a little bit more festive is the nicest way to spend a Sunday afternoon. So gonna eat this, drink my chai, and then we're off to get our tree and you can help us choose. Fluffy, green, chunky, ticks the boxes. Okay, this is definitely the one. We're feeling good about him. He's got loads of leaves. He's definitely very chunky, which means lots of space to hang all of our baubles. We've been also doing some bauble shopping. These ones are just so cute, I think. Now we just need to find someone because we can't find anyone to like, I think literally more trees are coming. We are doing this quite early. They've got lots out, but yeah. This one, we want literally like the biggest boy we can find, and this is him. So, right, time to try and find someone so we can take him home. First tree for our first house. Excited. Very excited. Very excited. Very excited. Ah, let's get him in the car. Good job. He's in. Right, shall I wheel this back? Yeah, that's all right. We've got the tree, it is looking so good. I have got my very Christmassy candy cane pajamas on. Got myself a glass of red wine. Cameron is embodying full Father Christmas. 
Go on, let's have a look. Hello. Let's see your stupid jumper. Oh, how ridiculous. Look what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. And this is our tree. Look at her. She is honestly so spectacular. She's got this like cute little waistband thing going on, which um, we've left it a bit of time to see if it will drop, but it hasn't. So, but that's okay. Apart from that, she's so fluffy. Honestly, I think we've absolutely smashed it with the tree choice. So now we're gonna start decorating. We've got quite a lot of stuff here. I've also got my new garland, which has arrived, which obviously looks nothing now, but we're gonna get it out and looking very lovely. I got some new Christmas decorations, which have arrived, which I'm so excited to have on the tree this year. I got some gold organza bows from Cox and Cox. And I also got a few because Cameron absolutely loves sweets and my pajamas are very candy cane sweet oriented this year. So I also got these giant sweets from Cox and Cox as well. Anyway, so those are the additions. And we're so excited to get all this stuff up on the tree. Okay, it's officially time to decorate for Christmas 2023. 